Hey guys, I'm just going to quickly review an article that has been popping up all over the place and I'm going to review it on Silver Doctors here. It says, Breaking the Comex confirms that its gold and silver inventory reports are fraudulent. So, as seen on a... Uh, that disclaimer was not in Friday's warehouse stock report, it was on yesterday's. So... On Friday, the stock report came out, uh, like the CMA COMEX stock report, and there was not such a disclaimer on the, uh, on the paperwork. But then yesterday, which I believe was Monday, because this article was posted on Tuesday, June 4th, uh, on Monday, the stock report came out and the disclaimer read, the information in this report is taken from sources believed to be reliable. However, the Commodity Exchange Incorporated disclaims all liability whatsoever with regard to its accuracy or completeness. And now I'm, I'm just going to read quickly what uh, they try to relate this to a situation that everybody would go through on an everyday basis. So let's say you get your bank statement in the mail from, I find it funny how they use JP Morgan or Bank of America, and see a disclaimer added at the bottom that says, the information in this account statement is taken from sources believed to be reliable. However, J JP Morgan disclaims all liability whatsoever with regards to the accuracy or completeness. This account statement is produced for informational purposes only. So, it's just showing that you know, the reliability of these bank statements or the reliability of any statements that we see before our eyes are for quote unquote informational purposes only. I think that's sort of the point that they're trying to drive home. But there's a lot of, there's a lot more um, analysis here and discussion about what this disclaimer actually means. I just thought it would be interesting to bring it onto YouTube and to get us to comment on what we think this means down below. So I don't know, let's have a discussion. What does this really mean? What they allude to here is that uh, the common reaction would be to ask why now, but we already know the answer to that question. I've suspected for a long time that the COMEX vault operators lease out a substantial portion of the gold and silver bars that they keep in both the registered and eligible account designations. So, let's read one more line. I'm willing to bet a very large amount of money that this disclaimer was put on the warehouse reports uh, starting yesterday as a result of the large amount of gold bars that has been physically removed from COMEX vaults and specifically from JP Morgan's eligible account since the beginning of the year. So, some really interesting stuff here, guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what this really means and please like this video.